In Monday's press review, we begin in Ghana with the story on the Ghanaian Times. Update on COVID-19 combat, football, other combat sports return, as government further eases restrictions, and six youth perish, one car dies in two road accidents. Daily Guide writes, Bloody Weekend, Tatin perish in accident, and Nana receives five envoys. In Uganda, new vision is the story. Schools, churches allowed to reopen. Another story is Makerere University main building destroyed. The Kampala Sun writes, Bukulubi pops open to teens day and night. Kids lock parents at home before escaping. South Africa's Mail and Guardian is a story. Serial rapists at SNDF base, military insiders push for action over alarming series of attacks at Seldara Academy. In Nigeria, The Guardian writes, Buhari, Jonathan, Atiku, others applaud as Obaseke returns and not his elders re good call for sack of service chiefs. The punch is a story. While jubilation as Obaseke defeat Ize Iyamu, APC alleges foul play, PDP candidate scored 307,955. Party says we have retired court virus, Gage Lions. Daily Sun write, APC kick as Obaseke congas Ise Iyamu Oshomole, re-elected. Buhari PDP Atiku Wike orders held election. Another story is Nigeria has a long way to go in leadership. Obasanjo, we are drifting from bad to worse. Methodist Bishop. Daily Independent is a story. APC blames Oshomole for defeat. Orgy's sanction. Reject resolve. Ask members to remain calm. We have triumph over Godfatherism. Obasiki. I leave you with the nation. Obaseke, I owe my victory to people's collective will. And CBN Prop 71 for suspected forex deals. That's it for today. Stay safe and wear your face mask. I'll see you tomorrow.